My name is Christophe Wohl. I'm the founder of Esper Lux. Alan was Alan from Dubai Watch Week, where we are in beautiful Dubai, joined here by these awesome guys, and we're going to talk about you know, a couple of questions from from the show. Omar Chabulsi, correspondent Middle East for Revolution Magazine, NYC Watch Guy, visiting us from New York City, and Marco Goncina of Swiss Watch Gang. So, guys, Omar, I'm going to start with you. Let's go. Best watching show. Yep. And best thing about the show. Okay, so for me, the best watch that I've seen in this show, and I'm not being biased, honestly, is the HM11. I just love the, the morph that Max has been taking. Max has been creating watches inspired by space, by cars, by a lot of stuff. And this time he's more mature in his journey, and it's an architecture piece. And if you look at the watch and you wear it on your wrist, honestly, it's just amazing and mind blowing. To be able to put a house inside a watch and to be able to look at it from different angles, it's just crazy and a unique feature that we've never seen on a watch before, which is a thermometer. And it's crazy because the technology developed for the thermometer is not to give you the temperature of your body because this is very tricky. It's going to give you the outside temperature, like the environment temperature. And for me, this is just mind blowing. So kudos to Max and the team of MBNF. This was my favorite watch. It also costs as much as a house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Max, we're sorry. We need something more accessible <laughs> next time. <laughs> and for me, honestly, uh, the most impressive thing about Dubai Watch Week is the camaraderie, people coming together. It's one of the only places where we can meet each other, be very comfortable, be very casual. Uh, it's just crazy because like take the example of Vasu, you know, I've been talking to him for quite some time. I've never got the chance to meet him. I met him in Dubai for the first time, you know, and a lot of people that I've met for the first time happened here. So this is for me what's important. It's just the community coming together. We're all like very casual, very relaxed. Just want to enjoy watches in this hobby. Awesome. Vasu, looking very local. <laughs> hey, when in Rome. Best, wa best watch of the show? Salam best, alaikum, best, Sheikh. Best watch of the, uh, the show was definitely the uh, UR230 for me. Um, obviously, I'm a huge Urwerk fan. The whole Jordan story, we've done a video on that. Um, ultimately, the new 230, I think there's a, a, a bunch of little tweaks. At, at first glance, it may look just like a slightly differentiated 220. And as much as I don't really care for the, the hood on top, I think more importantly, the mechanics, the fact that you can turn off the automatic winding and it turns into a fully manual watch. Uh, and then if you want to keep the automatic on, but sort of put an air brake on so that uh, if, you're, if you're being very active with your lifestyle, uh, the rotor isn't just turning uh, indefinitely and it's sort of slowing down the winding. I mean, that's just insane. Um, and so for me, that along with the fact that they made it slightly wider, my issue with the 220 was always, as much as I love it, feels a little long on the wrist this way. I think by making it a little bit wider, the, the fit is unbelievable. So for me, that was, that was definitely the best in show. Um, and, and, you know, similar to Omar, for me, the best part of this show is just the accessibility. You know, most of these shows are meant for, for B2B sales. It's for the dealers, it's for the retailers to come in. And, and unless you're an insider in the industry, you don't actually get to see as much as you do. But in Dubai, everything is set up for both the, the retailers, but also more importantly for enthusiasts like us. And so the fact that everything's in one central location, the cafes, everything's right around. So you step out of the show and you're surrounded by the entire watch world. Uh, so people I haven't seen for years, people I've talked to for years on Instagram, everybody's here. Um, it, to, to me, it's the best show of the year or every two years um, anywhere in the world at this point. Best watching show, Marco? Wait, wait. Are we rolling? Yeah, yeah, we're rolling. Let's go. Best watching show for me was uh, very biased, the Remy Kuls. I had Remy on the channel before. He came with a subscription piece, thicker watch, more sapphire, you know, higher piece. Now he made it more refined, slimmer case, different movement on the backside as well. He still kept the original design and the idea behind the watch on the dial. So we have still the turbine suspended inside the, the base cage. I mean, it's a fantastic piece. A higher price point, of course, subscription pieces are usually a bit on the lower end. So that's definitely my highlight for the show. And overall, I love coming to Dubai. I love eating the food here. One of the nice surprises this year for me was seeing uh, Vas dressed like this. <laughs> we met a few years ago. I haven't seen him since four years probably, but uh, I see he still kept his um, sense of humor. So, <laughs> And also the Siddiqui family is doing an amazing job with hosting everybody here. So it's always a pleasure to come to Dubai. Yeah, no doubt. For me, you, I mean, Chris, I mean, what's I, your favorite? I mean, I think you know, I could have gone with either uh, of these of these watches that you guys uh, that you guys have uh, have nominated. Um, you know, and and so I guess it's the, the the perk of going last is that you gotta you gotta come up with something else. But 
thankfully, there's an awesome watch that was released by Dibitun, the DBD, mm. with the green dial, uh, the evergreen. I think it's absolutely fantastic. They knocked it out of the park. The way the, the dial, the, the Cote de Bitune dial, kind of shimmers in the light and changes colors is absolutely outstanding. Uh, so impressive. And then I'm going to just, I'm going to echo everything that you guys have been saying um, on top of this being so relaxing. It's not a stressful environment. I don't feel like, uh, you know, I, I am, you know, while we're running around from meeting to meeting, you know, meeting people, this and there, it's just so nice to just be outside, go back inside, be outside and, uh, and not have to, uh, kind of uh, worry about being indoors for a long period of time. Uh, and I have to say, thank you so much to the Siddiqui family 100%. for organizing all this. this is absolutely yeah. incredible. And what they're doing to, to promote watchmaking as a whole uh, is not, nothing short of fantastic. So thank you again. Thank you guys for taking the time for this. Course, thank you guys for having, having us. Uh, seeing you guys is, uh, is always a highlight of my day. So. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, well, I'll get on after. I'll, I'll get on, okay? All right, All right. thank you, guys. The cover picture, let's, let's <laughs> go on top of each other for the cover picture. Don't forget to lie down on the floor. To our channel for all upcoming, all upcoming videos for Dubai Watch Week. Take care. <laughs>